I wanna say that since the year started, my daily routine hasn't actually solidified or I haven't figured out how a routine is going to look right now. So, bare bones, day in the life. My alarm goes off at 7.45, but most of the time I get up a little bit earlier than that. One of my favorite parts of my day now is I start swimming first thing in the morning, and that's what gets me out of bed and is pretty much the anchor of my day. And it really helps me to set the tone for the day and keep me balanced. And I just absolutely love it. As soon as I get in the water, it's almost like everything doesn't matter in the world. And I'm just me in the water and just swimming. So I start my morning swimming. When I leave the pool, I always stop at the grocery store and I'll get like a pastry or bread. And, um, and if I'm making something specific for lunch, like if I'm grilling, I get fish and I'll get whatever meat or whatever I need for that day. And then once I'm home, I make tea. I'll have my pastry and my tea. And depending on if it's a video editing workday or, or predominantly writing workday, I just set everything up to get that done. Today, for example, was a video editing day. And normally I'm done with the first iteration of work by 12, 12.30. And then it's time for lunch, which is what I need to go and make right now. I've been really focused and disciplined about getting post up on Substack and that's been the most consistent part of my writing routine. And aside from that, working on project A and the edits and the revisions, it almost feels as if I'm just hanging out in the project and I haven't actually organized as much as I set about doing that. I haven't organized how this next revision is going to go. I feel very capable and I feel very confident that I can get it done and each day that I do work on it, I make progress and I maybe make progress in the form of writing one paragraph or understanding a character a bit better. So just a few updates as the day winds down. I had a meeting with my agent last month and just as last year went, I got started on making videos for this channel and I had some sort of a, a grasp of what kind of writing routine I was trying to create and then bam, I got news from my agent that she had finished the draft that I was working on then, she had given me edits, and then all of my attention and my anxiety went towards that. Similarly, this year I figured I would get started again on this channel, you know, New Year's resolutions, um, started the Substack, and I just had 
a very hopeful idea of what I could do in the next few months. And then I got an email from my agent saying that she just finished the draft that I finished last year and she really liked it. Thank goodness, pause for celebration and had some more edits for me to do. And then once I sent these edits, we would be able to send it hopefully to editors and sell this manuscript or just whatever the next steps are. So who knows how many iterations of this edit, revision, feedback loop exist, but I'm in it for the long haul. So pretty much everything that I think about right now is centered around getting this next draft done. I am a little bit behind on where I thought I would be. You know, when you first start organizing something or you, you see <laughs> what needs to happen. I used to have this plaque that said, confidence is the feeling you have before you understand the situation. And so I'm just in that, I was in that bu bubble and now I'm actually in the thick of it and just trying to figure out how to stay on target schedule wise and to make everything happen in a timely manner because last year it did take me quite a bit to get her the next draft and i definitely don't want to take as many months as i took then now that's top priority not that much of a riveting update on project a but i'm still making progress and some of you have asked how i got an agent it's not that extravagant of a story but when i first started traveling i had an instagram at the time and I had started dabbling in writing again. And when I made a post one time saying how much writing that I was doing and jokingly said, if anyone knows how to find an agent, lo and behold, there was an agent who was following me and she said that she was interested in reading um, whatever I had. The way she was following me was because I had done an interview of one of her authors that she represented. I really loved this book and, um, and I had contacted the author and she had seen the video that I made and I guess she really liked it and then started following me. And after she saw my post, she reached out to me and said, yeah, if you have anything, um, send it my way. I'd love to read it. And what I sent her was not, was truly nothing. It was like, um, some personal essay, but it was the equivalent of a basket full of post-it notes. But either way, we stayed in contact and, and she would always send me writing contests and residencies and just things that should be on my radar as um, an amateur aspiring writer. And she said that when I had a full manuscript, she would be interested in reading it. And so since then, I sent her the first draft of my manuscript and and she stuck beside me and here we are on technically draft three, draft four is what I'm working on now. And, and she's still here. So that's my story of how I got an agent. I'm no expert at this. In a lot of ways, I feel inept or inadequate to talk about this because I don't have the same traditional route of, oh, you have to go out and you query and all of this. And who's to say what may become of this uh, situation and this relationship, but it was pretty much a stroke of luck and but i'm very grateful for it and i'm grateful to have someone interested in representing me as an author so with all that being said oh the other thing that happened which was really cool i got accepted into a writer's residency this month actually i got the email and i really felt amazing after receiving the email and i had a meeting with them or the director but it's just not in my budget right now but the good news is that i got accepted into a writing program and I hope that sometime in the future when, you know, the circumstances are a bit different, then perhaps I can join a, a program like that uh, and be surrounded by other artists and creatives and people that are, you know, doing this, this work of craft. Um, as you can see, I, or if you haven't seen, I just moved into a new apartment as well. So I have a lot on my plate as far as nesting goes and trying to furnish the apartment and make sure that it's home for me and i have so many things to do but i'm trying to take my time as with anything and be patient so that's all i've got for you for my day in the life the sun's going to be going down or the daylight is about to be going away so i'm just going to wrap this up also i need to edit this video and i'm going to get started on that now i typically get finished with everything around seven and i just start to wind down I either read or I watch something, or if I have some more writing that I want to get done, I will jot those things down, talk to my family back in the States, 
And tonight though, I have to edit this video. So I just need to wrap this up and make sure that I get my one video a month up for February. Um, as always, thank you so much for following. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for being here. And until the next one, I will see you soon. Bye. Let's hope that the sound is all right. All right, so day in the life. Now I see why I said I can only make one video a month.